Okay, everyone. So as you can see behind me, Fluffy the Wonder Van is fully loaded. She is so full. I have to go pick up my girlfriend, Joanna, who's going to help me with Rustic Mama's Market, which is tomorrow. So we got to get down to Owatonna and get the booth loaded up. Um, it's so full though. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get her overnight bag in. So I will make room. We will get it in and we will get on the road. But yeah, you've got to see everything I've got in here. Look how full this van is. Check it out. Okay, so I'm going to get on the road. There's no time to waste. We've got to get there and get loaded tonight because it goes live at eight o'clock tomorrow morning and it runs through four. It's not pretty y'all. Just <laughs> bear with us. You'll see what it's like, but we got about a two hour drive ahead of us. So stay tuned. I'm gonna fuel up the van before we go and I'm gonna give Fluffy a bath because I like the van to look as nice as possible while I'm cruising down the freeway so people see my business and they know I'm it's a nice clean business um, it is a little cold so I've gotten geared up for the Minnesota chill in the air it's about 48 degrees right now as I'm leaving it's gonna get up to 52 today so it's gonna stay chilly but that's great because unloading all this in Owatonna is gonna be work and we're gonna get sweaty so 52 will be awesome yeah tonight it's gonna be below freezing um, not ready for that I'll be honest so let's get on the road She's fueled and clean. Let's go pick up Joanna. Yes, of course we have to introduce you to YouTube. This is my best friend, Joanna. She's helping me this weekend. <laughs> so now we're really getting on the road. It's the morning of Rustic Mama's Market and I'm waiting for Joanna to get her Starbucks spicy chorizo sandwich. Um, we're going to do a little interview with the cura curator, curator, or cur I don't know. The person who set this whole thing up, creator, that's the word that wouldn't come to me. <laughs> She's going to be there this morning and we're going to do a little interview with her and I'm going to show you what the booth looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I picked the right person to go with me. Joanna's very visual. She helped me quickly set up a beautiful display. So take a look. Okay, so I have Wendy and Julie. They are the creators of Rustic Mama's Market. So I wanted to ask you guys, why did you decide to do this? We both, you know, both creators. Yeah. Both love the scene. Yeah. We have a community that doesn't have a fix for, for the, you know, the people that we know and love. We just wanted to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Can't network with, that, with better people. And just bringing it to Oatana was really important. Yeah. Bringing that shopping experience that you can get an hour away here where it doesn't exist. Right. Because mm -hmm. you guys, you both have shops here in Oatana. We sell online. I sell online. Julie does. I just do shows yeah. here and there. Yeah. Um, I have a site called The Rustic Door. Yep. And I just basically sell online. I do a few shows, but generally just sell online. On your own website or on Etsy? On my own website. Okay, just we'll, on Facebook. We'll put a link to her shop <laughs> in the description below. 
<laughs> you have to give me the link. Yeah. So, now what can a vendor like? If you had a new vendor that was starting, what would you tips be for making it successful? Uh, Wendy, you're, you have like a top three, you know, the height. And yeah, what's your top three suggestions? Um, quality, color, yep. um, height. Height, yeah, definitely. I guess that's what I, you know, there's a couple vendors here I helped set up their booth, and, and that's what I said. We need, we need to get it up. We need people to see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Quality, color, and height. I like yep. it. Yeah. All right, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So Friendly. now you do one every spring and every fall. So what is the difference do you see between the two seasons when you have vendors come in? And <laughs> October is more like our fall boutique. We really want it to be very intimate. We want it, people to know that it's beautiful things for your home, inside and out, beautiful things to wear. Um, very, very shopping oriented decor yeah oriented may is kind of like a big celebration summer is coming yeah come and buy this stuff we're gonna but a lot more demonstrations a lot more mix of vendors a lot more kind of party atmosphere loud music mm -hmm. um a lot more variety of vendors so have you guys seen any trends out of this show what are our trends what are the trends right now um i would say Dang, tin is still in. Oh yeah, tin, rusty, tin, tin rusty is still tin. in. So you don't believe the whole farmhouse is done? No, not at all. This is what I think. Yeah, not at all. as farmhouse chic was a fad, it's no longer a fad. Right. It's just a it's style. a just, it's a style. Exactly. It's just a decor. Style. So I don't think it's a buzz anywhere anymore. I think it's an option. So now, it's a viable option. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yes, yeah. it is. Uh -huh. Like shabby chic became a thing. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You're yep. either contemporary. Yep. Or you're modern. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's not yep. a trend. It's just yep. it is a style. Yep. It, it is. And I think it was like so hard to. There's hard work that goes behind that decor. Right. And I think it was just difficult for mainstream to be able to acquire those pieces for themselves. Not anymore. Not anymore. Right. So now I think it's just this big celebration of we're going shopping because I'm going to get what I want for my porch, for my mantle, for my bedroom. Beautiful little pink vanity right there for my little girl's room <laughs> kind of thing, you know? Yeah, right. I had a I had a customer come through here today and she told me this is the best thing that's come to Otana since I can never remember, she said. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So now in the spring, is it still going to be a free event or is it going to be a ticketed event? We are still going to keep it free. You are going to keep it free. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I also think that's another trend. Yeah. Ticketed? Yeah. Is, is no end, no pay at the door. No pay at the One door. One thing we are going to do different is the early bird. We're going to sell early bird tickets. And oh. so for an hour prior to the sale, you can purchase the ticket. We haven't decided on a price. You can purchase it online. Um, and you can shop early and get the free first shop yeah. in your bed. Nice. <laughs> People yeah, like little that. Happy little donut, little tote bag, little free sneak peek. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that's how we decided to kind of compromise the the, the ticketing. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your early bird tickets. You get the coffee and the donuts. Yeah. We're only selling so many. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. I appreciate yes. it. And I can't wait to come in May. I'll be here. I'll be here in May. <laughs> Tasty Verdict Case. I'll be here. Follow her. Peony Lane Designs will be here. All so right. Thank awesome. you, dear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. And I need, a, love you. I need a copy of your link. I will. Okay. 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 So give it Sounds to me. Good. I will. All right. Thanks, ladies. Okay. So it's Sunday, and I'm home from Rustic Mama's Market in Owatonna. As you can see, Fluffy the Wonder Van is still really very full. I didn't even try and put makeup on today, by the way, guys. Sorry about that. This is what I actually look like. Um, <laughs> it's just, I'm tired. It was, you know, these events are a lot of work. Two days, it's really cold here in Minnesota too right now. So it's been like two days of really hard work. I was so grateful for my best friend, Joanna, to, who was there with me. If she hadn't been there, I couldn't have done it. She was a blessing for sure. She's very good at visual merchandising. Um, she's a very visual person. So there were a lot of moments where she was like, no, that doesn't look right. And it was so helpful. We knocked out that booth in like two hours. Normally it takes me about four to six to do a booth. So I was so grateful to have her. But um, overall, the sale was good. Lots of traffic. It was very cold. So there were a lot of people that left the sale early. 
because they weren't anticipating that kind of weather. They were thinking that it was going to be an indoor sale and um, the big bay door, big bay doors on this barn were open. So it was very chilly. So a lot of people just said, I can't shop anymore. I have to go. So that was disappointing, but you know, it is what it is. We can't control the weather. I did not break even on this sale. I did lose a little money, but um, not to the point where I go, oh, I lost a lot of money. Bye. This is what happens when you film in a van. People want to wave at you. <laughs> um, I'll probably cut that out. So, I mean, I lost a little money, but not to the point where I was completely devastated. It did pay for my um, hotel. It did pay for my gas. Um, Joanna bought me a birthday dinner while I was down there. So that helped me save on food. Uh, today, the day this airs is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. Um, if you want to give me a gift, subscribe to the channel and, you know, buy me a coffee. Buy me Duncan. I don't know. Can you see it? Buy me a coffee. The The link is in the description below. If you want to give me a wonderful birthday gift, buy me a Duncan. I would love it. Um, but yeah, so first person who guesses my correct age is going to be summarily executed. So don't even try. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how old I am, people. But um, I wish I had gotten rid of a lot more, including that pink vanity. Lots of girls were just squealing and loving that pink vanity that were in those pictures. So today I get to take it over to my booth at Picket Fence Gals because it didn't sell. So I'm hoping it did. It does go. I mean, it's just a gorgeous piece. Not to brag, but I think it turned out really fantastic. It deserves to be with some little girl who's going to love it and feel like a princess. Um, not my daughter, <laughs> but, um, Rustic Mama's Market was a great event. There were lots of the, I know the vendor across from me, they cleared out their booth. So they had a fantastic sale and I think I will be back in the spring. They've asked me to do a presentation while I'm there. Um, some paint techniques. So yeah, in May I'm going to head back down to Owatonna, I think, and do it all over again. But, um. I'd have to think twice about the fall. I like that uh, Julie and Wendy gave us those wonderful vendor tips. If you're looking to be a vendor at one of these markets, please pay attention to what she said because it is absolutely true. You need color and height and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like this channel, please subscribe. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course junk in videos. And uh, we'll do a lot more interviews with vintage vendors and um, market so you, if you're looking to do this for a living you get some good tips on how to be successful at it or more successful than me <laughs> check out wendy's link in the description below so you can give her a little love as well thanks for watching everyone i appreciate it bye happy junkin visit my blog peonylanedesigns.com for more tips tricks and inspiration thanks for watching everyone if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.